Hello guys, it's Lake Kate here, and today we are going to be playing Area of Terror Retro. Um, if you guys knew Lucidius Cunning Fox, I can't really say his name, I'm really sorry. Um, he made this game about a year or two ago, and someone else asked for his permission to make and bring this back. So now it's back, and I wanted to do a video on this because I loved this game when I was playing this like two years ago and the reason he quit with this is because he's working on wild savannah and testing and c and those are just testing games but wild savannah is the main game but he did give this to another developer called the aliens and he made a game but it kind of like broke on this one big update which caused it to die but anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and join my Discord down in the description. And let's just get right into the video. These Parasaur came out of nowhere and just like, I guess I'm part of their group now. I think I saw like an Acro over there. I don't know. Bro, the sound, it sounds like a person eating chips. I don't know why, but the Mayas, like, their food goes down so quick and it goes up so slow. So I feel like a Maya would probably die from hunger. These Acros are definitely waiting for a chance to get us. So I'm gonna, like, keep an eye on them because you never know when they're gonna come over here. And I'm gonna turn the chat on just in case. I like how there's a Predadon just in the air, like, supervising. That's what, like, most of them do. Or they like to steal babies from... And that was a coming. How did they? I almost got a broken leg. That would have been bad. I would have probably died. I think they got the other parasaur. So I'm just going to follow this one. This parasaur seemed to not care that his friend just died. He literally ran a good amount away so then they wouldn't find us. And then he started eating a bush. It's either they want friends. And he was just using him just in case they did come, so then they would have something to eat. Maybe I'm the next thing he wants to use as bait. So it's finally daytime and this parasaur is still eating a bush. I don't know how hungry he is because he's been eating all night. Like, who would eat all night? I might just like walk away because I don't really feel safe around him. He's probably going to use me as bait as well. Guys, I found a Triceratop. He looks like he's walking this way. I don't know if he's angry because a lot of people like to use a Triceratop as a Kyosa. So I have no idea if this trick is friendly or not. Yeah, he's definitely not friendly. Definitely not friendly. If he gets any closer, I'm probably going to walk away because look at my attack. It's a headbutt. I don't think a headbutt's going to win over a horned dinosaur. So I'm just going to run if he tries to attack me. Because, yeah, he's coming after us. He looks angry. I'm definitely going. That parasaur can die. I'm staying alive. Watch him only be coming after me, though. I don't see him. Oh, my God. That scared me so bad. I don't see him attacking the trike, but... Not trike, but the parasaur. But I don't see... But I see the parasaur running, so I'm still, like, half asleep. I don't know why. I wonder where he's running to because I'm pretty sure around here there is a lot of people that like just hang around here for no reason. I don't know where the Pierso went but I don't really need to follow him. He's probably going to use me as bait anyway. And that galley or gilly just scared me. He just like ran into me and like it scared me so bad because I thought it was something else. Those things like to scare me a lot because sometimes I think they're Carnos and I'm pretty sure I can kill a Carno, but it will leave me dead as well. So I've been eating for a while. Um, I'm going to go see if there's any other Mayas that I could herd up with because I kind of want to make a herd, but I don't think other people would. I'm really excited for when this can nest because yes, some things can nest in the games right now, but not a lot can and I can't wait for this to be able to nest and we can make like a herd. And that would be so cool. Oh, this is a Triceratop fight. It's a male versus a female, and the male is losing. That's a first. I like how that gilly's just running around in circles. I wonder if that Triceratop male killed the babies or something, because that female looks pretty mad. She must be on her period or something. Oh god, there is a T-Rex, and I don't know if that's a Kyosa. I don't know if he sees me yet, and if he does, I'm gonna run. Because 
I don't want to be caught up with that. Oh dang, the female won. It looks like she took his horns away as well because this Triceratop is dead with no horns. So I've been running around for quite a bit and I was at the end of the map so I couldn't find the water so I had to go all the way back and I found the water. I didn't know I was going to the end of the map, that's probably why. So I just ran into a fight with a Parasaur, a Maya, and a T-Rex. And a Karno, I think. Why is everyone ganging up on the T-Rex? It's like he backed up like I'm good. I'm following this Maya because I want to know what he's doing. Why is he following the Karno? You know, you could probably die from that thing. Now he's just going to stand there. He's probably going to either disappear or... Dude, you shouldn't have sat down. The resting is glitch right now, but they're going to fix that in a few. Um, so he's doomed now because he just sat down. So basically, if you sit down, there's different things. Not like T-Rexes or anything, but Mayas and Parasaurs and I think the Tar. Then you're going to be stuck there and you can't move. So I feel bad for that Maya, but he's just going to have to reset. I found another T-Rex fight with a Tar. And the Tar's probably going to lose. I'm going to see if I can hit this T-Rex and see what he does. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm running. Dang, he could have gotten me. Wait, did he get me? How? I don't think he got me, but... Oh my god, this tree. Why tree? I hate when I run into trees and I'm running from something. Guys, he is still mad that I stole his hat cheetahs. Look at him. He's running like as fast as he can to catch up to me. He really wants some hot cheetahs. This Rex is still coming after me. He must be really mad that I stole his hot cheetos. Okay, so I don't know where he is. This hill is like covering where he would be. Um, oh my god, he's right there. He's still mad. I'm gonna have to fight him somehow because he's not gonna stop. I'm pretty sure he won't stop. He hit my tail somehow. Like, how is that possible? Guys, I'm probably going to die because I am not able to kill a T-Rex as a Maya. That's not possible unless um, the T-Rex is a really noob. But I don't think I'll survive. I'm going to try and probably lose. He looks like he's healthy and I'm like bruised up and everything. Okay, so we finally got help. Um, another Mysore came in and a Tarantula. We might take down a T-Rex just as a group alone. This is gonna be awesome. This poor T-Rex though, he's like, oh, I just wanted my Cheetos. I did not mean to have death come to me today. That Tar is breaking his ankles good. Dang, Tar. I love how he's just standing right next to him as he walks, breaking his ankles even more. So I think the time might be able to kill him. I don't know if he's going to let him live or he's just going to chase him until he dies. So we're just going to watch and hope that he either kills him or this guy walks away. I'm trying not to get into the fight even though I want to hit him so bad. It's either I get hit by the T-Rex and I die because if I get another hit I'm going to bleed and die. And the Tar is probably going to break my legs if I try to get into there so I'm just going to wait until he dies or he walks off and try to get one more hit on him. So it looks like the tar is going to let him go. So I'm going to try to get one more hit off of him and like imagine if I did hit him and it killed him. That would have been funny. But that T-Rex did a beat up so let's see if I can get a hit. I don't know if that counted, but I hit him, and I still got his Cheetos. He's not going to get them Cheetos back. So now I'm a Parasaur after that whole thing. We just like parted, and then I sat down and got glitched, and I decided just to become a pair, and then maybe like the patchy looking thing, the little small dude, the chicken nugget, that's what I'm going to call him, a chicken nugget. It looks like there's a lot of people over here, but I don't know if anyone's fighting. Where did that chip sound come from? Like, where is it right now? I don't hear it. 
Oh god, there is like two triceratops running at this T-Rex. I thought they were gonna come after me too for a second. Imagine how cute it's gonna be when the baby parasaurs come out. I'm obviously going to make a video on that because it's going to be so cute. Um, I wonder what the model is going to look like. I hope it has like big eyes. I don't know why, but I just hope it does. But why is the parasaur sound like it's dying when it does that? Like, I'll play this game and I'll like hear the parasaur ever since it's been added. Like the animations and stuff. I'll hear it from like the other side of the map and I'll hear it crying out like that. It's kind of creepy though because imagine at night you hear that and you're like a gilly or a galley. When the Tarbo had its animations added, there was like half of the server as a Tarbo once and I was um, a Triceratop and they all came after me. It was like insane. And I had like no chance against them. I think I killed only like one of them and they just wrecked me. That Tarbo looks like he's been watching me so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. And why is there a toe and a missing tail? Like it just disappeared but it did. And then there's a dead Rex in the water. Like someone drowned that Rex. I'm kind of scared. I think it's that tar Tarbo, whatever those things are called. Oh my God, that Sharko just scared me so bad. I have like 20 bleed. I don't know if I'm gonna survive that. Wait, I think 20 bleed? I can't see it right now, it's too small. Oh no, there's Arc Rose too. He got my feet and somehow I'm going to probably die from the bleed. That makes no sense whatsoever. He must have wanted to eat my feet or something like that. But that scared me so bad. He just like popped out of nowhere. I feel like those Arc Rose are gonna try and hunt me down. I'm pretty sure I can run away from them because I'm a little bit faster, I think, um, but I don't know. One of their buddies just came back and he's limping. He must have gotten into a fight. They're all like, what happened to you? I'm pretty sure they're going to try getting me. I just sat down. Okay, so I'm glitched. I'm going to spawn in as Apache now, those little chicken nugget looking things, and I'll see you guys then. Okay, so now I'm Apache, and I'm just gonna call him a chicken nugget, so I'm a chicken nugget. <laughs> the boys are cute. I haven't played this since it got its animation added, so this is basically my first time playing as it. I see an acro. No, that's a pair, so why, he's, why is he running from me? Is he that scared of me? Guys, I see an acro over there. And I don't know if he's AFK or something because he's not moving. So let me just get over there. I think he's AFK. So I'm going to try breaking his ankles. Um, he must have killed this Triceratop and then went AFK. So let's see if I can kill his ankles. Oh my god, the, the body is moving. Guys, I guess the chicken nugget is that powerful that it makes a dead body move. So I'll bring you guys back once I break his ankles. A few moments later. So I have not broken his ankles yet and I don't think I will. So I've tried, but I guess it's not. I've been waiting here for like 20 minutes now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you want me to do more of these, make sure to like this video and I'll definitely do more of these. But anyway, I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Never gonna give you up